In today's video, I'll talk about the best PC build under $1,000. And there is going to be two options, one that is going to be under 1000 and another one that is going to be slightly over 1000 It's going to be 1050 bucks, and that's the one that I highly recommend you buying, but if you can't go up to $1,050, just go for the other one, but I'll explain that later. Now I want to say that if you find helpful information throughout this video, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content. Without more to say, let's start with the video. So with the first PC build, we are going to go over the one that's below a thousand dollars and first i'll talk about the specifications and then i'm going to talk about what this pc can run so if you don't know anything about components don't worry about it stay on this video because it's going to be helpful anyway so for the cpu i picked the i3 12100f the latest i3 of the market this one is a great budget option actually for gaming these pc builds are more for gaming than streaming and editing but of course this i3 is going to be capable of doing 1080p streaming and 1080p editing so and unless you are a content creator, the i3 is going to be enough for you, but if you want to do heavy streaming and heavy video editing at 4K, then I don't recommend you going for the CPU, but again, it's going to be much more expensive if you pick an i5 or an i7. For the CPU cooler, I picked the budget cooler master, Hyper 12 Black Edition, because that Intel CPU usually is not the best, so you want to upgrade the cooling for the CPU, and that's why I picked this budget cooler master, and it's going to work great with this i3 12100F. For the motherboard, I picked the ASRock H670 and this one is going to work perfect with our build. Then for the RAM I picked 16 gigs of RAM 2x8 of course, don't ever put one stick of RAM on your gaming PC, that is going to kill your performance and especially if it's one stick of 8 gigs of RAM, you wanna put two sticks of 8 gigs, make it 16 gigs, 3200MHz, CL16 memory, this one is going to be perfect for our budget build. If you want more RGB, you can go with RGB sticks of RAM but those are going to cost you around $20 more expensive. And I didn't want to make this PC any more expensive than it already is. Then for the storage, I picked one terabyte of NVMe M.2 SSD. This is going to be enough to put our games and it's going to be fast enough to transfer files and to open applications on our windows. So once again, I think it's a great pick for this PC. Now the main thing for gaming, the GPU, I picked the Gigabyte. Radeon RX 6500 XT. This one has 4 gigs of VRAM, but the interesting part here is that it's only $300. This one is going to perform similar to the GTX 1650 Super, but if you want to do some heavy gaming at 1440p or maybe 1080p ultra settings in every game, this one is not going to be the best option for you. Of course, for 1080p, it's going to get the job done. If you want to play 1080p 60fps average or even 144fps on average in competitive games, don't worry about it. This when it's going to be. But if you want a graphics card that is going to last four more years in this gaming market, then wait for the other PC build that I'll talk about in a second. But again, it's like a 1650 Super. If you're just going to play 1080p 60 frames per second, this one is going to be way more than enough. And if you're thinking of playing games like Valorant, Fortnite, Roblox, CSGO, those games are easy to run. So don't worry about it. If you're just going to play those games because those are your main video games, don't worry about it. It's going to be perfect. You don't need to buy a PC that is more expensive than this because those games, like I said before, are easy to run. And if you want to play games like GTA 5, this is capable of playing GTA 5 at ultra settings 60 frames per second as well so that is great if you want to play gta 5 as well then for the case i picked the corsair 4000 d airflow this one for the price is going to be the best case in terms of price performance like i said the airflow on this case is going to be great the design is perfect everything about this case for the price is going to be perfect and then for the power supply i picked the corsair air am x 650 watts 80 plus gold power supply i don't think we need a better power supply than this one for this exact pc bit but if you want more upgradeability, I would upgrade it to a 750 or maybe an A50 watts power supply, but those are going to be way more expensive and it's going to go above your budget. So if you want more upgradeability, you can always upgrade it, but for this PC build, 650 watts are going to be way more than enough. So the total price for this PC is going to be $950, but it's not going to beat pre-built PCs nowadays, like the CyberPower PC that has the i5-11400 and the RTX 2060. Yes, you get 8 gigs of RAM, you have 
have to upgrade the RAM there. But for the price, the Cyber Power is going to be a better option than this PC build. But of course, here you get the experience of building it by yourself and you get to learn about PCs a lot more. So if you want to build your own PC, I think this one is going to be the closest to perfection for the price that you're paying. And the other PC build is actually $100 more expensive. It's $1,057 with 90 cents. Like I said before, I highly recommend you buying this one instead of the other one. And it's the exact same PC build with less storage. Actually, it has 500 gigs of SSD instead of a terabyte of SSD. Of course, if you can spend a little bit more, you can upgrade this to a terabyte of SSD instead of 500, but I didn't want to make it more expensive. But the main difference here is going to be the GPU and we are talking about gaming PC builds so the GPU is going to be the most important part on our build and this one is going to be the MSI Radeon RX 6600. This one has 8 gigs of VRAM so that's a huge improvement from the 4 gigabytes of VRAM on the 6500 XT and the RX 6600 is going to perform really similar to the RTX 2060 so here you're getting a really similar performance to that cyber power PC from Amazon. Of course the cyber power is going to be much cheaper but you need to upgrade the RAM to keep that in mind so it's going to cost you a little bit more and this PC build actually has more quality components. The RX 6600 is really similar to the RTX 2060 and you get the i3 12100F. I think this combination is great for 1050 bucks for an entry to medium end gaming PC or 1080p this one is going to be more than capable of running every single game at 60 frames per second and for competitive games if you play at the lowest settings you're going to be able to achieve those 240 frames per second so if you wanted 240 hertz monitor you will be able to buy it with this gaming PC I think it's a really solid gaming desktop that you should buy if you have the money like I said before it all depends of course if you want to build it by yourself or not if you want a private PC I have a bunch of videos about private PCs that you can watch on my channel so you will have plenty of options and if you don't want to see those videos it's all good you have all of these PCs for every single budget down below in the description so just go to the description and see which one fits in your budget but if you want a PC build I think this one is going to be the right one for you especially for the price it's actually not that expensive considering the performance that you're getting and considering of course the market nowadays because nobody knows when this GPU market is going to be back to reality so that's why I think this PC build is the right one for you for a thousand and fifty dollars. Now before finishing this video I want to say that if you don't have a good monitor then you won't be able to appreciate these gaming PCs so you need the right gaming monitor for these type of PCs and if you don't have a monitor that's at least 144 hertz then you're not going to be able to take advantage of these PCs so make yourself a favor and if you don't have a good monitor I have a whole video around the best monitors for every budget you will have it in the top right of the screen but it's really important for you to watch that video especially if you don't have a good monitor if you want to take advantage of these PC builds or any private PC at this price point. So that was the whole video like I said at the beginning if you found helpful information leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit the bell button. So thank you guys and I will see you on the next one.